Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I'm doing a views on co-sleeping before I had a baby versus after I had a baby. So basically I feel that there are a lot of controversial topics to do with this, uh, not to do with this, but to do with babies in general. Things to do with co-sleeping especially. So basically when I was pregnant or before I had a baby, I thought I would never ever ever have Ollie sleep in my room at all. Not in a bassinet, not in our bed, not in the room at all. I just didn't want that. I was like, no, my parents didn't have me in their room. I was always in a cot from when I was a newborn, when I was a baby, and that worked for my parents. But honestly, everything changed as soon as I laid eyes on Oliver. It was like, I already had a bassinet, um, thankfully that one of Reese's aunties gave to us just to have but I thought you know what I'll just have it downstairs for when he naps during the day and didn't think I would actually use it but after having two or three nights in hospital I was like I honestly don't know how I'm gonna go with him being in a different room so we brought the bassinet, bassinet upstairs and he slept in the bassinet for the first four months of his life and I breastfed up until he was about six months old. So everyone knows the risks of co-sleeping, um, bed sharing in particular. Basically, I thought that co-sleeping meant bed sharing. And I realize now that bed sharing is when the baby actually sleeps in the same bed as you. And co-sleeping can be when the baby sleeps next to you in a different bed, like in the bassinet, but next to your bed. So we co-slept in a way for a long time but however when I was recovering from my cesarean in the early days it was so hard to get up and move around that there were a couple of times where we did have him in the bed I would never fall asleep but he would sort of be in the bed um, while I was awake and then I don't know it just your whole opinion kind of changes well it did for me anyway the older he gets, the more I don't stress out as much, like if he's in the bed. When he was a newborn, I was so, so paranoid about squishing him or rolling on him because he couldn't move. He was like a stunned mullet, basically. He couldn't do a thing. The older he got, it became a lot easier sort of when he would wake up and be super, super awake at like 5.30 or 5 in the morning and I could not get him to sleep. This is like sort of around probably the five or six month mark um if you know it was actually it was like when reese and i had broken up really it started um i would you know have him on reese's side of the bed and have pillows there so i knew he couldn't fall out, fall out of the bed or anything like that um and that worked for me but i don't i do i do it probably like once a week and it's only for those couple of hours in the morning i was just so against it before I had a baby and it's so amazing how your perception can change and like You know the risks are there and everything but I know that I it probably sounds um, Silly to say but I know that When he's on the other side of the bed I'm not going to roll on him and he's perfectly able to move around on his own now um, Like he's not going to suffocate if something is like if he rolls over and bumps into me He's not going to suffocate because he can just move away now because he is nearly nine months old um, So it is a bit of a controversial topic, but now he does sleep in his cot. He goes to sleep Still usually in my arms Like downstairs because we are still upstairs downstairs. He goes to sleep in my arms My camera battery is about to cut out. So I'm gonna try to wrap this up really quickly, but um, And then I move him to the cot and while he's asleep and he sleeps in the cot. He still struggles falling asleep on his own. He has done it a few times, but yeah, so he still wakes up during the night a bit. I never have slept an entire night with him in bed with me. I've never gone to sleep intending to sleep with him for the whole night because I still wouldn't trust myself in a deep sleep. Um, and I still, I still know the risks and everything. Plus it is very difficult to relax and fall asleep if a baby is right next to you. Um, I really have, my sleep has improved so much since we moved him to his cot when he was four months old. I've felt like I've got my room back, my bed back, I can be a bit louder. 
But yeah, so basically co-sleeping, I do not, we do not co-sleep, we do not bed share, but I do bring him into the bed with me sometimes in the early hours of the morning when he is just super awake and he will not sleep. It's just kind of to keep me sane. And I never would have, if someone told me that when I was pregnant, I would have been like, I don't know, that sounds a bit dodgy, but honestly, when you're a single mum, you just do these things. And I don't want him to become dependent on sleeping in bed with me, which is why I hardly ever do it. But yeah, so that's my thoughts of where I stand on the whole co-sleeping thing. I still think bed sharing when um, you've got a newborn baby isn't the safest option, and I still would never do that, um, even to keep my sanity. But I don't think it harms anyone for like the couple of hours in the morning sometimes it's only like half an hour just while we're you know getting ready to wake up and he's usually awake the whole time anyway i'm just sort of like in and out of dreamland but yeah so that's where i stand on co-sleeping if anyone has any views to do with this please leave a comment down below because i get really interested on how people's views change from when they're pregnant to versus like having the baby like i never thought that i would have him in a bassinet in my room but i couldn't part with him i was so like no he's gonna be in our room and he was like that for four months and i thought straight away i was like no way i'm not having a baby sleep in our room but obviously things change please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post new videos i try every single week sometimes two a week and i will be doing vlogmas this year hopefully so yeah hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you next time bye